Hey, so I think I found a shortcut way to play Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls. If you know anything about the actual studio version of the song, uh, it's it's in this really strange tuning where you tune all of the strings to D, except for the top one, which you tune all the way down to a B. Uh, and it makes for, uh, if you're trying to actually play the song at a gig where you're doing covers or something, it's really hard to just tune your guitar that way for just one song, not to mention the fact that you might break a string in the process. So this is Iris in drop D and I've looked on the internet and there's lots of tutorials for ways to play it, but I haven't seen one quite like this. So maybe I can help you out if you want to cover this song, uh, especially if you uh, are good enough to sing that high A, uh, and just belt it out in the chorus. If they're if they're you're in a place where people will sing along, then they don't really care whether you're uh, you know doing it falsetto or or whatever. They're going to sing along with you. And I, I don't know if the song's still popular or not. It it was huge in in high school uh, when uh, I I learned to play it this way. I came up to play it this way so that uh, I just had to tune to drop D and I could play it during lunch uh, and get a few people to sing along. And it was a great time there. So if that's you, if you're just looking to play it quickly, not exactly studio quality like on the recorded version, but if you just want to play it, then this this video is for you. Uh, now the intro, uh, really, you can kind of take and, and leave those few chords at the beginning. There are other places that tell you how to do that well. I usually just like to start with uh, a D and you hit that open D at the top. So that's uh, this is drop D, so you just standard tuning, uh, except you take your top string and move it down to D. So from the top to the bottom, it's D, A, D, G, B, E for the tuning. So uh, you make a D, just a regular D. You can put this finger down or not, uh, but you got to hit that top string because it's in drop D. So, and then I put my thumb on there you got this walking up pattern where you hit the the E note so it's and then you can do a G like this so from the beginning that's open make sure you hit that top string and then the E on the second fret and then the G chord I put my third finger on the fifth fret I put my first finger on the third fret on the bottom two strings on the first and second string uh, you can strum the whole thing there, or you can make a G like this, which is your first finger on the sixth string on the fifth fret, and then you got your third finger on the seventh fret on the third string. And if you make it like this, you don't play the high E. You don't play the first string there. So that 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 you can do that G. You can do this G, and that chord is movable. Movable. Both those chords are movable. So for the rest of the song, or the rest of the chords there, you can do G, B minor. Let's see. Yeah, that's right. G, B minor, A. So you just move that same chord. All right. So from the beginning, there's your G. A, B minor. So it's D, D over E, G, and then the that's a B minor, A, G. You can do it that way, or you can do it like this with the two finger chords, or excuse me. I keep, have, I have that one in my head. Uh, you can make it this way. There's that other G, just two fingers. And you move that up too. That one sounds a little more like the actual song. You can jazz it up however you want. Uh, but, but remember, the actual song just has all Ds here. So that, that, that sounds pretty much like it. Uh, so that chord, if you're gonna do G that way, you put your first finger on the fifth fret on the sixth string, put your third finger down here, there's your uh, that's on the seventh fret on the third string. That's a G chord. If you move that up to where this one's on the ninth and this one's on the eleventh, then it becomes a B minor. Don't play that first string 
and you go here, and that's an A, and back to a G. Now, uh, that works for when you're playing the verses and the chorus. You got that instrumental kind of bridge part where there's a guitar solo. If you're good at harmonica, you could actually play those notes on harmonica uh, of, of that solo. You have to be pretty good for that. Uh, but here's how I like to do those chords. And it sounds something like the album, even though they're playing in that weird tuning where it's all B. So here's, here's what I do. Uh, I make that B minor I just showed you where your first finger is on uh, the ninth fret, third fingers on the eleventh fret on the third string. Except I put my second finger on the tenth fret on the first string, and that makes uh, this B minor with with a D in the high note, and that's that's kind of your melody note right there. So, and you you do those. Uh, 16th strums there. Da, 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 da. Okay, so more slowly, that's, so you, you got this uh, middle finger on that 10th fret, and you slide it down and switch out your middle for your pinky, put that on the 9th fret. So we're going from here to here. So same rhythm, and that's uh, first finger on the seventh, third finger on uh, the third string on the seventh fret, and below it on the first string you got your pinky also on the or the ninth fret. These are both on the ninth fret. Excuse me. This is seventh. These are ninth. Uh, so so from here, and then you 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 want to put move that pinky up one, and then go down here. And so what I'm doing there, I'm at the G, and it's the same shape as the A. So your B minor is like this with the middle finger, but the other two have the pinky just below the third finger on the first string, and you move that, so. And then, okay. So your second G chord, instead of doing this, you switch your thumb to the top and you use your first finger on that fifth fret. So uh, again, slowly it's... And you, you wanna move back up with that pinky on the seventh fret. So. And that gives you that solo part, and then you can, you can come back to this. And so you really just, you can do it with uh, two finger chords for, for most of the song. Just You could just do a D like this. G like that, B minor, A, back to G. But it, if you want that that instrumental to sound cool, uh, you got to work on your rhythm. And these chords are, are pretty cool for that. Okay, hey, I'm just uh, a dad with a real job, uh, trying to teach some things I've learned from my basement. Uh, I love guitar, just trying to help people out. So uh, if you like what I'm doing here, subscribe, leave me a comment. Uh, those big names, uh, they don't have time to respond because they get thousands of comments. I don't. So give me a comment if there's something you'd like uh, me to teach, something you'd like me to show you, uh, I'd be glad. Uh, to try and figure it out. If I don't know it, I can go learn it uh, and, and try to uh, give you a helping hand. So I uh, hope you can be better at what you find here. Uh, music is fun, uh, but you gotta keep playing.